Hello again, my friend. Well, here you are in sunny Newcastle, the perfect place to chill and unwind. And given your most recent adventure, nobody deserves a bit of rest and relaxation more than you. I must say, you've chosen a magnificent location. Just look at that beach. It's your own little slice of heaven. Why not get comfortable and go make the most of it? I read the welcome pack earlier. This place seems to have all you could ask for and more. Everything you'd expect from a five-star resort. From room service to maid service, a complimentary minibar, your own private garden with a barbecue pit, on-site sauna and gym facilities, even your very own personal Swedish masseuse. So why not make a start on that list by trying out the room service? Go on, indulge yourself. Ah, here's your order already. Oh, a pee pee! <laughs> oh dear, that was unfortunate. Still, look on the bright side. She's old, so if she tells anyone she saw a three legged man, they'll just think she's having a senior moment. Okay, now that you're all fed and watered, let's go check out that awesome beach, shall we? Have you packed everything you'll need? Okay. Let's go over the basics. Have you got a beach towel? Sunglasses? Bucket and spade? Sunblock? Fishing rod? And a book to read. No! <laughs> okay, you got me. Very funny. Well, that should be all you need. Let's hit the beach. Ah, good. It looks like you're the first one here. Going to start with some sunbathing, are we? Well, be sure to put on your sunblock. It's a hot one today. Safety first. Ah yes, fishing. A classic male bonding ritual. The thrill of the hunt. The adrenaline rush of the capture and kill. Although, seeing as you're standing in less than five inches of water, it's a safe bet you won't catch anything out of the ordinary as you would if you were partaking in deep sea fishing. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. Or you could be the subject of a 10 million to 1 chance of catching a 6 foot tall talking lobster in surgical scrubs. <laughs> the beach can be a great place to make new friends. Be warned however, beach bullies are an ever present problem. But, if you're brave enough to stand up to them, you could further prove the age-old belief that a bully is always a coward. Unless, of course, you're a little bitch. That's a pretty nasty sting you've got there. For lack of a first aid kit, the best way to instantly soothe it would be to take a nice refreshing swim. The natural sea salts are a perfect way to neutralize the sting and provide some instant relief. Go on, get in there. Do a cannonball. You know you want to. <laughs> you know, generally that works a lot better if you make sure you're near the water first. <laughs> One of the best things about being on the beach with friends is coming up with original and fun activities to take part in.
<laughs> don't run, don't move. A beach bully's vision is based on movement. By the way, did I ever tell you I have a friend called Bigger Stickers? <laughs> Okay, if you're really intent on continuing this war game with the bully, may I recommend the introduction of a third party to draw his fire? You still have your fishing supplies. I'm sure there's something in there that you can use to your advantage. By the way, didn't you guys have some fish pheromone in there? you found some free weights, no doubt left behind by some poser-ass biatch. Why don't you see who can deadlift the most? Oh dear, I think things are about to get a lot heavier than those weights. Well, having someone else fight your battles isn't the most heroic move, but at this point, I don't see you have many other options. Yum yum yum! Hooray! I'm useful! <laughs> is always an option. <laughs> well, it's been an interesting day to say the least. You've made some... curious friends. And aside from the bully fiasco, I'd say you've had a very good day, all things considered. But, like all good things, it must come to an end. So, there's really not much left to do except the ageless tradition of building a sandcastle. Go on, put that bucket to good use. <laughs> Kappa, don't. Just let it go. If you're really going to continue this, then you're going to need help. But it's more than I can provide. There's only one man that can help you now. When you need him, he will come. Trust me. When you see him, you'll know him. Merciful here. Enemy deserve no mercy. You killed him. Hey. Well, it may have not been the most sportsmanlike victory, but you definitely won the day. Well done, you. So. 
How would you rate this overall holiday experience, then? Good stuff. Well, the only thing to do now is reward yourself for a job well done. And there's no better way of doing that than trying some of the local cuisine. Well, you are in Newcastle. How about some curry chips? No? Well, it looks like Mr. Miyagi's got a better idea. I do believe he's more in the mood for some seafood. Anyway, I think you'd best get indoors. Quickly now. Before he spots the one thing we've all noticed and you haven't. Uh, Kappa, I think you should run. Dude, I hate to tell you this, but you're flying the colors of Cobra Kai. Oh, wait a minute, did I just die? Oh, crap. <laughs>